Hello and welcome to a brief overview of the Money Ledger program for Canadian businesses with GST and personal. This ledger is very useful for people who have home offices and you need to track how much you're spending at home as well as in your business and split the two for Revenue Canada and keeping track of your expenses. So let's take a look at the program and enter a few transactions. The screen you're looking at now is a monthly screen and as you can see this is for the month of January and at the bottom there's various tabs one for every month. On the left hand side of this screen is where you enter in your transactions, your revenues and your expenses. On the right hand side is a summary area with a summary statement showing you the totals as you go along. Scrolling a little further to the right you can see that there's a summary statement with business accounts only so you can split that away from personal. At the top of each area is a little print button for handy printing of these statements. Scrolling down, you can see that the GST is being shown, collected, paid, and the net amount due is automatically being calculated as you go along. You can also see summary types, and it totals up how much you're spending on Visa, debit, cash, and so on. And it gives you a little, also a little reconciliation report so that when your bank statements come in, you can see how many of those entries you need to reconcile with your bank statement. Now let's look at the setup screen. In the setup screen we can see that we can enter in our categories of how we want to track our expenses and to the right of our categories you can see our splits. So for example on the automotive we can, we can split it 85 percent business and 15 percent personal or any number you want you just simply enter it in there. If you have a home office, you can split your hydro bill, 15% business, 85% personal, and the program will do the calculations as you go along. To the left of this, there's a column that says items to appear on your financial statement that are business. So the items or the categories you want to show up just on your financial business statement, you would just simply check or uncheck for them to show up. So when the check mark is there, it's showing up on your business statement. To the left of that, you can put in your year, and here you can set up the payment types that you're using, MasterCard, Visa, and so on. And once you've done, you save it, and that's it. Finally, we have a year-to-date summary statement. It shows a year-to-date totals for your business on the left, a year-to-date totals for personal and business, and then four quarterly statements. As we scroll across, you'll see those, and you'll, be, you'll have quarterly reports automatic as you go along. Let's enter in a few transactions to see how this can work. 11th of January, we have a check that was business, and let's say this was income. Sale of XYZ to whoever you want to put in. The GST portion is 105. The sale was $4,500. And the net balance was $43.95 as it calculated right there. And you can see on the right hand side it's starting to accumulate the numbers in our summary screen. And that's it. Now let's put in another entry, this time an expense. 15th of January, we have a visa expense and we're going to use split because it was automotive. And it was a gas purchase. And it was two dollars fifty cents GST and forty five dollars was the gas so it netted out at forty two fifty. Now on the right hand side you can see how the split is working. On the automotive line the total was forty five, the personal was six seventy five which is fifteen percent of the total and the balance was business along with the GST portion of that. And That's simply how you do it. You go along and enter in your transactions and the summary reports get done for you. And at the bottom you can see how the GST is being calculated as we go along. You can see that how much you can spend on Visa and so on and how many unreconciled transactions you have. When you get your bank statement in, you simply check that off and you say, yep, I got it, got it. And when you look down, the reconciliation report is blank. Meanwhile, your year-to-date statements are being calculated along with the year-to-date GST statements. That's it. Thanks for tuning in.